Good evening YouTube and welcome to Punkaharju in Finland. This is a ridge area that was formed during the Ice Age pretty much and it's a really nice place for a tourist to, to visit in Finland. It's very close to the Russian border in uh, southeastern Finland. But the reason I'm here is that I wanted to do my own test drive video. Uh, a couple of years ago I was looking on YouTube for videos about some uh, early 80s American cars because I was, in, uh, I was in the market for one and I found this whole scene of people making videos of their cars and uh, now that I have my own and it's in pretty much the, the shape that I wanted in I, I wanted to do my own as a tribute to all the videos that I watched back then. So uh, this is my car. This is a 1981 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham d'Elegance. So it's the top of the line personal luxury sedan from Cadillac at that time. The Eldorado was of course even more luxurious. The Seville was more expensive, but it was actually smaller. I bought this car from uh, Cali Auto Brokers on eBay in 2009. It's a one owner, California original car so as you can see it's in pretty decent shape despite being exactly 30 years old there's absolutely no rust anywhere and the vinyl roof is in okay condition I've, I've waxed it with a with a special coat so it's, it's quite shiny at the moment so it's got the uh, 6 liter L62 engine uh, which originally had the modulated displacement uh, system but uh, as that system works really poorly it's been disconnected so it just runs on eight cylinders at the moment and has digital fuel injection so let's uh, pop the hood and, and see what's under there so this is the beast uh, I've had to replace the uh, compressor for the air conditioning and also all the uh, all the refrigerant had come out which usually happens when the compressor goes but uh, apart from that uh, nothing except for the wires has been touched I, I replaced all the wires I of course exchanged the oil and all the, uh, the transmission fluid uh, brake fluid etc to, to make it safe but apart from that it's pretty much uh, in, in original condition. So maybe we'll start it now and, and see how it sounds. And uh, oh, in here we have all the standard equipment. There's the MPG Sentinel, which is an early uh, onboard computer. It's telling me doing 16 and a half miles to the gallon, which is not bad. I was doing 17 on the on the highway. Uh, and that's the automatic climate control. It's set at 70 Fahrenheit at the moment, which is of course nonsense to a European, but seems to work at around that setting. That's the clock and radio symphonic sound system. Here we have the, the wiper delay and the light switch with auto dimming, uh, sentinel lights and then the cruise control. 
I've rarely driven this in the dark, so there's supposed to be an automatic switching system for the for the lights. Uh, 64,747 miles. It had 59,000 miles on it when I got it, so I've done close to 6,000 miles on it with absolutely no problems. And there's a thermometer there. The mirrors are heated and you can adjust them from here. This is for the driver and that's for the passenger side mirror. Also, if you open this up, you see that there's a button to open the trunk. You can also see my iPod and cassette adapter there. In the back seat, you can see that it's rarely been used and uh, the rear window there I have the, the scale model of the car and then I have a Commodore WIC 20 which is a, a story in itself. It was my first home computer and uh, as it was brought out in the same year as this car and I thought it would be nice I, I actually bought plates that say WIC 20 for this car to make it a bit special and there we can see the trim level which is to my understanding just about the highest the only option I've seen that this car doesn't have is that there was a, a sunroof type of thing available which one car on the internet has and this doesn't not that I really miss it a lot okay let's uh, buckle up and go for a short drive okay headlights are required in Finland even when it's not dark so let's switch them on then we put it on drive as you can see it automatically disengages the the parking brake and uh, oh. here we go So the L62 engine has about 140 or 145 horsepower and uh, 330 something something uh, newton meters of torque. So it's not actually a race car by any means, uh, but uh, it runs nicely and the, the engine has no trouble moving the car like some of the the later models that I've uh, heard about were not quite uh, enjoyable in terms of performance but, but this runs just fine you can keep up with traffic and even uh, do the occasional overtake on the on the highways Even though Finland has quite a scene in American cars, especially the, the these 1980s full-size cars are not yet much of a thing. But uh, well, I wanted something that is big enough for my entire family of four, and that one that's 
obtainable with a standard salary, more or less, and one that you can still find parts for. And well, the Cadillac really ticked all the all the boxes, so I, I decided I, I wanted one, and uh, I'm really happy with it because uh, sometimes the cars turn into nightmares, and then you. You end up fixing them more more than you can run them, but uh, with like standard maintenance, this has been a really good, even daily driver, if, if I wanted to do that. But uh, I've, I've taken every effort to keep it all original, so there's only GM parts, except for of course the filters and such, and only American uh, oil and, and transmission fluid, etc. So should run pretty good. Okay, let's give it a bit of gas so we can see the, the explosive performance. So now we're at the standstill and this is full throttle. Okay, gets up to around 35 miles an hour reasonably quickly, but like I said, you wouldn't win any drag races with it. Okay, I think that's about my test drive of the 1981 Cadillac Fleetwood. Thanks for the inf inspiration, YouTube, and uh, I hope I get more videos of the 1980s classics later on.